Hey guys, uh, Dave Boucher with Sailfish uh, here this morning in beautiful uh, Vera Beach, Florida. Uh, here to stop by and see our good friend Steve Diossi to talk about something great and exciting we have going on next year. What's up, man? Hey, what's going How's on? Going? going good, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, yeah. too. Hanging it's good. been a while. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Welcome in. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for having us this morning. Absolutely, guys, thank you. Well, I brought a special surprise for you. Oh, man, I've been waiting for these. <laughs> I've been waiting a whole year. You, you and a lot of other people are waiting yeah. for those. So exactly. we're really excited for them coming out again next year, so. Awesome, man. Yeah, well, you have a seat and catch up, man? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Come on in, have a seat at my bar for a change. No, that's, uh, that's a welcome change, trust yeah. me. Absolutely. Yeah, Sarah, thanks. Oh, it's going fantastic, yeah. man. Yeah. It's been a while, man. We haven't seen each other. And yeah, I know. We've it's been, been a little uh, bit, right? We've been working a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Good, good, good. It's no, it's, uh, yeah, no, incredibly. I'm just getting ready for next year and just uh, the amount of cool things we have going on. I'm really excited to, you know, reintroduce this back to the, you know, the, the mass public, yeah. uh, not just the tap room going into next year. Just have that be, you know, the catalyst to kick off next year. And it, it's, um, yeah, it's crazy to think, I mean, where this started with, with you yeah. and us, you yeah. know, seven plus years ago. I and, know. Um, it's crazy. Seven years. And like every year, I mean, we're looking forward to it. And it mm -hmm. just seems like it just comes, you know, comes around so quickly. So. No, it definitely does. And, you know, it, just going back to when we opened up Fort Pierce and, you know, incredibly fortunate to have all your artwork in there. And, um, yeah. yeah, and, and still a focal point of obviously oh, this number one thing here last call being the, the focal point when you yeah, want to tap I think that's and pretty much where it all started. It definitely I, is. Definitely I, is. I was doing a lot of the uh, shows at Fort Pierce City Marina, mm -hmm. you know, just I think the, the very first show that I did for, um, for my brand was at uh, the City Marina during one of the fishing tournaments. And okay. I think that's where, you know, we started talking. Yeah, that's and, right around when we probably were starting to move over to the new yep, spot, I think. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And it, that's the neat thing. It was just such an organic No, Yeah, and you see know, your, growth. your growth, see our growth. I mean, it's just been, Absolutely. you know, I mean, to the point where people come up to me and say, yeah, I got a, a DOC painting. And, you know, from the, because I saw it hanging up in your restaurant, your tap room. And it's just yeah. uh, it's super cool to have you set up your mobile studio at the block parties. Yeah. And yep. just, you know, how we grew our brand is exactly how you grew your brand. Definitely, you know, organic. definitely. Just, just one person at a time. Time, mm -hmm. meeting every single person and just yeah, you know, quality or quantity. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's probably the same. You know, you turn people on to the beer, they yeah, try it sure. once and they come back again and again. Mm -hmm. You know, just like this one. I mean, I think Being consistent. Time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's what it's about. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's just, you know, establishing that trust, their consistency, and reliability. And, you know, this beer particularly, I mean, we've been doing this for a long time. And, uh, you know, this, you know, five, six years ago is when we started canning beer. And um, this wow. is the first you know, uh, call it limited release we wanted to do in distribution, canning wise, right. you know, beyond our core beers. And, you know, we're sitting around and trying to figure out, okay, what do we, what kind of, this is our first, you know, going beyond of a creative label, you know, for right. distribution. And we're just, you know, I remember sitting around the, one of the tables in the tap room and, and we're kind of brainstorming, like, what should this label look like? And you were looking right. around there and, and Flounder Pounder look up and it's like, well, gee, there's a flounder pounder passed out on the dock right Staring there. So what, the what a better yeah. way to complement everything that is synonymous with you know our local relationships, Absolutely. our organic growth, and then something that really pays tribute to and honors the beer, in my opinion, as well. Definitely, too. it's almost and like you know, like I'm psychic, you know, like we had this. <laughs> <laughs> we knew this was so coming. much of your stuff is related to our stuff in so many indirect and direct totally. ways. Totally, absolutely. Yeah. Well, there's there's been plenty of nights that I've been the flounder. Oh yes, you know, I, I hate to admit how many times, but you know, a few it's of these happened. will definitely get you there. So. Definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm good correct. with one, you know. I've never attempted to do all four, but that's what I always it's tell tempting, people. Though, that, that it drier, is tempting though. That drier, you know, it's so tasty. BB, it's juicy. It's you know, 100 yeah, percent honey, honey. You know, the honey, honey local aspect. Uh, Simcoe hops. I'm just a great. You know, simple, well-balanced uh, oh, double IPA. Delicious. That's excellent. I yeah. mean, that's why I said every year we we look forward to it. I think in the early days um, we would buy a, a, a bunch from you guys because yeah, yeah. we knew there was only so many. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we bought a bunch. We would do our shows all over Florida. And uh, the really interesting thing was, you know, how many times we've had people mention like, you know, oh, I've seen this art. You know, they'll come in. They don't even know me yet, but they're just like. I just saw this in the tap room where, you know, they'll do tours around Florida. It's great. Different the, tap the organic, uh, uh, you know, cross promotional yeah. marketing aspect. Yeah. Of them. And oh, they're yeah. just like, they're like, is your art in uh, Sailfish Brewing in Fort Pierce? I'm like, yeah, that's like mm -hmm. the first place I really put, you know, the big pieces of my yeah. artwork. So it's so neat. So, you know, they would sell out immediately or what we did in the early days too is like if they actually bought a big big piece and we really like you know like the person we throw in like oh, yeah, a four pack to them yeah, yeah. no it's uh again the, the relationship is is what every relationship should be about yeah. just you know uh, complimenting each other and just organically grown you know yeah. and just 
you know, you made such a great point there with just how both of our our, our uh, uh, you know companies have grown just yeah. organically and just you know one person at a time. Definitely. So, Definitely. and uh, we're excited to get this into more hands next year. It's uh, it's really great that we're you know going into a limited release series next year. We actually have a, a full wrap uh, can of this now, which I'm is so really cool. About so, that, man. you know, we've always done labels, but you know, doing an actual limited release of this is yeah. just going to be. A great compliment just to what we've already started and with it, the kind of cool following yeah. of this beer. It becomes like a collector's edition too. 100%. I mean, that, what I really like about this is that you actually put the limited release on here. Correct. You know, yeah. so it's uh, one is gone, it's gone. Right. Wait right. till next year to get it again. Yeah. And it's yeah. that's the kind of beer this is. It's so special that um, you know it's uh, it should be handled that way and, uh, and you know get it while it's hot and get it while it's fresh. That's the most important right. thing. You know, lucky enough that we've got the Vero Beach Tap Room just a, oh, for just sure. a couple blocks away. So yeah. Yeah. So that's what we tell a lot. Of people, you know, we're just like, yeah, just you know, you got to see our friends at Sailfish. They're just a couple blocks away, so so they'll be able to pick it up. And oh yeah, of well. course. And then any, any of your local grocers or you know, um, convenience stores and stuff like That's that. Fantastic. It's really exciting. So tell us a little more though, too. I mean, you know, we talked yeah. a lot about the beer, but you know, the painting last call. Yes, history yes. behind that. Definitely. So I did this piece. Um, probably about 2014 and it was really an ode to all those fun nights I had with my buddies and my, you know, back in the day, I'm not as crazy as I, you know, once was, <laughs> but I was definitely like a weekend warrior and, and like I, you know, mentioned, I, I hate to admit how many times I've been the flounder. It's, you know, represents those nights when you, you know, you remember walking in, but you don't, you know, quite remember how you walked out. out, you know, you remember, you remember you had a fun night, but mm. you know, you don't quite remember everything. So. So that the flounder, you know, represents that in this piece. He's the one that's had a little bit too much, you know. And, We've and, all had a little bit too much of every Yeah, time, absolutely, so. definitely. <laughs> the snook represents the, you know, the second, you know, drunkest guy in the bunch, and you know, he's so drunk that the uh, the shrimp here has turned the tables on him. He's whipping a fly at him, so he's trying <laughs> to catch it. You know, he can't quite get it. Um, back then, I think you know, Duck Dynasty was really big, and you know, the guys with the giant oh, beard. Yeah, yeah. So if you look at the fly, he's got a big old beard on him and he's terrified yeah, of what's so much inspiration in a bunk just within one painting that definitely did. Yeah. well and you know the the piece the, the reason i love this we all have that you know um those memories on the river, indian mm -hmm. river and um, we all have our little hangout spots oh, yeah. that we love to go to and, and um, my brother and i we used to we used to fish you know every day like every single day and uh you know we'd always lose some shrimp and um, if you look over here, this is the shrimp that got away. He's holding up his hook in victory, you know, like he lives another day. Man, that's the, great. Absolutely. So there's a, there's a lot of storytelling going on. Um, you know, the, the most hidden thing, I know the camera won't pick it up in this, but there's actually two people on the other side of the island there and uh, trying to join the party, you know, in the mix. <laughs> no, that's great, Steve. It's uh, a lot of... Uh inspiration by yeah it's fun sure. it's fun it's just like you know this represents that you know we all have a crabby friend you know so mm -hmm. he might have gotten some bar fights in his day so he's yeah he's missing i think all of us have that group of friends so yes that, that yes yes, right yes, there, yes. Yeah. we can all relate to one of these characters <laughs> in the bunch you know so yeah it's a lot of fun so yeah when that i think that first conversation that we had you know at one of the shows and uh you know they're just like oh we gotta you know we should think about teaming up on something mm -hmm. and and um you know, they mentioned the flounder pounder. I'm like, oh my God, we got the perfect piece, you know? And I've been wanting to do a flounder for a long time since mm -hmm. I started it. And, uh, you know, so how, how better, man, than the No, it's, it's pounder. a great, uh, you know, it's, uh, it just complements everything that you're about, that we're about, and yeah. just, uh, you know, growing this more and more. I mean, this label's been around for over five years now. Wow. And uh, it's yeah. it's got a great local cult following uh, from here all the way up to Orlando. People yeah. are still recognize on the shelf and uh, Definitely. you know to, to grow it more, get more places and get out to more people, but in a, a limited supply. That's that's really great. I mean, one one thing I remember doing, you know, was I was like, I wonder how this is doing. I, I searched it, you know, on Google. Mm -hmm. And just to see the reviews, I mean, and so oh, yeah. many people take pictures of the can and then they, a, uh, they're in the, in the tap room. Instagramable can, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, always just seeing those good reviews, so. No, we're super it's pumped. Exciting. I mean, um, you know, to have this be our, our release first for next year, uh, you know, kicking off the limited release series for us and everybody can get this yeah. at your, you know, your local establishments. Um, uh, you know, first of the year, and you know, kicking it off right. You know, with everything well, we're that we're about, man. that we're about, and yep. continue to leverage uh, and and uh, you know, grow those relationships. Absolutely, so. man. Well, we can't wait to get it in here too. Cool. So we'll yeah. be pop one and see if it still tastes as good as you thought it was. Yeah, absolutely. Got to end it right. Man. Exactly. Well, cheers, man. To a cheers, successful buddy. 2024. Absolutely. Yes, Same sir. To you, buddy.